Shit. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can hold them. I'm activating the nuke. Um, is it time for that yet? What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get the lieutenant and get the hell out of here. Belay that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams. This is it. This is the real choice right here, guys. Well, I'd already kind of made peace with the fact that Caden was going to die, and we do want to make sure that the nuke goes off. So I think I'm still going to go with Ashley. I mean, she did say it's already armed, and the Captain Kiri, he said that not much can stop it once it's armed, so she's kind of dead anyway, right? If I go back, do I risk losing even more people because we're in the, the range of the nuke when it goes off? Shit. Ah, oh, this actually is kind of a tough choice when I think of it like that, guys. Mm, okay, I think it just is a matter of practicality. We don't know what the Geth can do in terms of disarming nukes and things like that. I think we have to go back and get Ashley. And that's kind of what I was leaning towards anyway, because I just don't really like Caden that much. So, yeah, that's my choice. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Stay alive. I'll be coming to get you too, Caden. I think we both know that's not gonna happen, Commander. Well, sorry. I tried. I can't save everybody. I'm going to tear this whole place down. Good for you, Rex. I'm gonna help you with that. Listen, guys, Caden volunteered for the suicide mission, okay? And frankly, his life kind of sucked anyway. Because he tried to hit on me and I shot him down. So things just work out better this way, I feel. Alright, let's do this. Defend the bomb! Blow up the fuel tanks! Yeah! Wow, that's some strong motherfuckers right there. Just trying to switch to my shotgun. It won't let me for some reason. Thank you. Fuck your shields. Oh boy. This is going to get real ugly real quick, I think. Need barrier action. Need lots of biotic action. Geth Prime? This ain't Prime Day, bitch. Sit down. Commander, you need to set the nuke and get out. We can't hold. Left flank, left flank. Suppressing fire. Suppressing. Damn. The man himself. I applaud you, Shepard. My guests were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. You work for a Reaper. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction. It doesn't sound like it, really. It kind of sounds like the Protheans 
or rather the uh the reapers are just like enormous assholes who kill everybody anyway do you really believe the reapers will let us live now you see why i never came forward with this to the council we organics are driven by emotion instead of logic we will fight even when we know we cannot win you don't know that but if we work with the reapers if we make ourselves useful think how many lives can be spared once i understood this i joined sovereign though i was aware of the dangers i had hoped this facility could protect me so he joined up with him before he was even indoctrinated he is still an asshole there's no reason to feel sympathy for him you're afraid sovereign is influencing you you're afraid he's controlling your thoughts i've studied the effects of indoctrination the more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Yeah, but how will you even know? Like, you won't. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we must work with the Reapers. I don't know, man. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. I kind of think you are, though. If not, like, physically by the... the Sovereign influence, then... Like, mentally, you have. Sovereign's manipulating you, and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Ooh, look at this. Don't you see? You are just a tool. Sovereign is using you. In the end, you'll be tossed aside with all the rest. Do you? Sway me, Shepard. Do you think I haven't already thought of this? Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. Okay, so that didn't work. <laughs> you were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization. And for that, you must die. Bring it, bitch. I'm ready for you. Why'd I get renegade points? Okay, he's pretty accurate. Shields are already gone. I can't believe I'm fighting Saren right now. I wasn't expecting this on this planet. I am glad I brought these two dudes, though. Uh, let's see, Garrus, why don't you snipe? And Rex, yeah, the assault rifle's probably the right choice for you. Okay. So let's see if, um... Oh my god, it's doing mad damage to me. Okay. I'm gonna need barrier. And I'm gonna need marksman. Holy shit! What just happened?
I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? I mean, if I had time, I would have went. We had to leave him behind. Saren has to be stopped at any cost. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. Don't question me, bitch. Chief Williams, I am your commanding officer. I did what I had to do. Do not question my orders. I'm... I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Elenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. We'll avenge him. It'll be fine. Get it together, soldier. Caden's blood is on Saren's hands, and when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Yeah, good idea. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. This is some beautiful music, guys. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. Oh. Okay, so I thought the thing we found was a conduit, but it's not. It's, it's a beacon. It's the second beacon we found, and it might lead us to the conduit. Okay, I think I got it straight now. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. Okay, yeah, that's fair. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. I don't really give a good fuck what's welcome there. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. That's such a shitty option. It didn't tire me out. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. I kind of feel like why bother, but yeah, we should talk to them. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Mm, yeah, I kind of forgot about the whole genophage thing. Did, did we... We took care of that? Like, it doesn't exist anymore? That was the only research was there at that station, and we just nuked it to smithereens? Because fuck. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw a mention of this on your report. Sovereign, Ascension Machine. A true artificial intelligence, this news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. You really don't believe me? 
Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. I really hate these guys. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Fuck you. Screw you isn't enough, but it's the only option I have right now. Here's another saying. Go to hell. Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough! Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. This is getting old. Why did you put this trust in me if you're not gonna listen to a goddamn word I say? This is infuriating, really. We seem to have a lot of disagreements, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Oh, I will. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Assholes. <sighs> yeah, give me them renegade points. I really don't like the council, guys. Like... Why... Won't they listen to me? Why... Do they do this to me? Why put their trust in me? Why make me a specter? If you don't trust me when I tell you what's what. And it's some pretty important shit that we're talking about, too. What's up, Joker? Commander. I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Yeah, there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? I get it, man. Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. That's my boy. That's my boy right there. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I mean, that, that decision was difficult, because it's always hard to make a decision like that between two lives, right? I know I'm playing a video game, but come on, I'm, I'm getting into it here. Um, It would have been a lot harder if it was... You know, characters that I was really attached to and wanted to see, um, you know, stick it out to the end. Between Caden and Ashley, I was just kind of like, eh, whatever. You know, if it was if it was like Rex or Garrus, Tali or Liara, that would have been a much more difficult choice. But it is what it is. They're going to keep playing this, this sad, beautiful piano music, aren't they? Well, let's talk to some of our crewmates here on the ship. Yes, Commander. He's got nothing new. Even with everything Carry that just went down. Presley. Yes, ma'am. Presley just does not care. I'll tell you what. Normally, this would be a natural stopping point, but I'm not quite ready to stop playing yet, guys. I'm going to go talk to some other people on the ship and just kind of see how everybody's feeling. Last time I did this, we didn't really get a full episode out of it anyway, so it was kind of like, eh. Might as well just do some mop up here at the end, you know? That's where Caden would be, I believe. <laughs> Sadly, he's not here anymore. Oh. Uh, I wonder, if, like... If it's possible to have him stick around... Through all of, like, Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. Because it seems like... You could definitely do it the other way, right? Like, you could have Ashley die and have Caden stay. Now, are they going to pull the kind of shit where, like, whoever you didn't choose is going to die at the end of this game anyway, so, you, like, they didn't even really have to worry about it for Mass Effect 2 and 3? Or did I just eliminate a huge amount of content with Caden through the next two games? 
But conversely, now I get to see content with Ashley in the next two games that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. That's a pretty huge repercussion, if that's the way it actually works. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted. Because okay. humanity needs the Alliance if we want... I should go. Goodbye, Commander. We can't ask her about Caden anymore. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not at least some dialogue there. Liara, how you feeling? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Psh, no. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Yeah, I get that. But also, probably don't, because he admitted that he still made the decision to betray us before he was ever indoctrinated. He's no innocent victim. He was a ruthless bastard long before he fell under Sovereign's control. I know his reputation, but he was a Spectre. I think he honestly believed everything he did was for the greater good. So did Hitler. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? I mean, even if his intentions were good, you know what they say about the road to hell, right? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Sure. But there's nothing else to talk to you about. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I guess we'll touch base later. Take care of yourself, Liara. I'm gonna need you. Before this is all over, I'm definitely gonna need you. Damn, they really are just letting this music play out. <laughs> That's a creepy shot right there. Did you guys see that? Oh boy. Let's stop off here real quick. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. We did get a new license since the last time we were here, so it's possible this guy could have some cool new stuff for us. Just gonna have to get rid of all this crap first. I don't need this double. So that can go. Okay. Ooh, Sokolov 9. Oh, I've looked at this before. It's kind of a wash, honestly. The way the stats play out. Yeah, I remember that now. Let's look for other stuff. Hurricane 9. Garbage. Liberator 9. Hot garbage. No. No. Nope, it's all garbage. Oh, hold on. I looking for supplies. I didn't look at my money until Not right now, thanks. No like a second before I closed Check. the screen, but did I just max out my money? I did. I've got the maximum amount of money in the game, guys. How about that? And nothing to spend it on, sadly. What's up, Engineer Adams? Something I can do for you, Commander. Nope. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? Nobody wants to talk about Caden. I should go. See you later. All right, I'll just go fuck myself then. I'm sure Ashley will have something to say, even though I already kind of yelled at her about the whole situation. We'll save her for last. Command, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I'm, uh... Thanks, Commander. Yeah, man, sure. You're welcome, Garrus. <laughs> okay, that was a weird time to have that conversation, but sure. You know, I'm glad to have you on the team, Garrus. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Okay. I don't have time for this. <laughs> oh. 
Goodbye, Commander. Well, that sounded rude. We just had that conversation, though. Okay, um, so what are all these Solarians doing on my ship? I guess we took them with us. Sorry about your, uh, Commander there, guys. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. Still, I find the loss of Captain Kirahi troubling. But I won't blame you. I know you lost one of your own as well. Wonder if there's a way I could have kept that guy alive. Captain Kirahi will be missed, but many others will live because he gave his life. That is our lot, I suppose. There may come a day when so many have been sacrificed, it will be impossible to tell who won. The mission was a success. That will have to be enough. We won't trouble you for long. Our unit will be disbanded as soon as we depart. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Okay. So that was just him telling me, uh, we won't be here as soon as you actually go somewhere else. Uh, it's nice catching up with you, I guess. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. Yeah, they you did. did. What you had to do. I respect your choice. Thanks, man. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. Damn, so is the genophage really gone? Or rather, the cure for the genophage, I should say? What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Solarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Everyone. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Okay, we've done this before. So long, Rex. Shepard. That can't be the last time we hear about a cure for the genophage. Rex, I won't abandon the mission, bro. We will fix it together someday, I promise. What about Caden's locker? What does it say now? Oh, can't even look at it. Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko, how are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. It's not your fault. Shut up. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses of Torfin? I'm not sure, because I personally wasn't there. I guess I vowed to do better. It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. Sure. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Okay, I'll just go fuck myself, then. Wait, how are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. Mm, screw the odds. When it comes to the survival of humanity, who gives a rat's ass about odds? We're gonna fight them. Damn straight we will, Skipper. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. We'll figure out something, don't worry. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Yeah, I have so many questions about the Reapers, guys. So if they're not organic at all, they are machines. How did they come to exist? Like, a machine has to have a creator, right? Isn't that how things work? Could a machine happen, quote-unquote, organically through natural evolutionary processes? Doesn't seem right. I feel like the Reapers are keeping some secrets that they don't want organic life to know about, about their origins and the nature of their existence and why they are the way they are. There's probably a lot of secrets to unpack there. The story's getting really interesting. I'm really, really enjoying this game. It's 
it's good. Like, there's so many games that do the whole, like, ancient precursor race thing, and when I when I learned that that's kind of what this game was about, I was like, oh, really? Another game from this generation that did that? But this does different things with it, and it does it in kind of a different way, and I do appreciate that. And it's just shaping up really well. I'm really excited to see where this goes. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to take a break for now, guys. When we come back, I guess we'll probably go back to the Citadel. I think now's a good time to head back there. Wrap up the two quests that we know about and see if anything else pops up. And, uh, and then after that, I guess it'll probably be time for the Mew Relay. Ilos, or whatever it's called. So that's the tentative plan for now. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mass Effect. You guys take care.